Welcome back, Star Trek fans. This is Old Bob10025 playing Mr. Old Bob on the episodes of the Casual Player. Basically, I built these to go ahead and uh, make sure that uh, you don't have to grind for a crazy amount of hours like a lot of people do uh, to go ahead and play this game and have, have a little bit of fun at it. You know, basically, it's one of those types of games, one of the best free, free to play games, I think, by far, for the simple reason is um, everything you do in game, you can actually get these things called Zen and then use that to go purchase different things by actually acquiring dilithium, changing that into Zen, and then changing this and then using Zen to go buy certain things, abilities, ships, and all that kind of stuff. It's it's one of the best ones, the best uh the best kind of uh, free to play concepts out there instead of microtransactions. It does have those, don't get me wrong. If you want to spend thirty bucks for a ship, you can, if you want to. Or grind it out and go ahead and do it that way. But this is just for the Federation for the casual player just to play I'm mean, literally only played this character probably about seven hours at the most. I'm level eleven. And I had fun at it. You know, it's kinda cool. I can't wait for the next episodes. Uh they're really really one's really creepy, so it'll be kinda cool. Um so anyway, so let's let you know let's go start the pa skirmish power struggle. I'm gonna go enter the Dantu system. Let's get that going. Hopefully this, I think this is it. <laughs> Hopefully this. But I really, I really appreciate you watching. I know you, I know you can watch other YouTubers, and thank you for watching mine. Uh, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good I don't talk to myself, and also it makes me feel good that there's someone actually watching. So, anyways, here we go. Captain, I'm picking up multiple hostile cons. Uh, and let me see. Hold on, crap. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta fight. Hold on a second. Holy cow. That wasn't good. That's not. That's sneaky. Got that guy. Wow, that's that was harsh. Here I am talking, trying to translate, you know, basically what's going on, and it's like, oh my god, what's this? Let's go ahead and reduce his power there and hit him with a lot of photons. Those Klingons, those nasty Klingons, they don't play right. I'm going to try to kill his bird of prey first, though. Raise my shields up a little bit. That should do him. Okay. Wow. Okay, let me kill these guys now. Let me go ahead and reduce down his shields. Hopefully that... Ooh, brought it down. Good, good, good. Doing pretty good so far. Um, it's a good thing. You go beam overload him. That does a lot of damage. There we go. See that? That was nice. That was beautiful. Use my shields a little bit, and I'm doing pretty good at my shields. So I don't have to worry about that. This guy is done. Jump out our attack ship. Try to reduce the damage on my shields. So I'm, I'm, wow, man, this is a lot of things. And the shield so photon does a lot of damage there, and the beam should kill him. There we go. Next, I gotta go save the science vessels here. Reduce down his uh, damage resistance by negative 27. Let's go sensor scan him as well. Upgrade my shields. And I them debugging. There we go. Later on, um, I'll definitely go ahead and uh, um, show you how the DOF system works for my character now. So uh, it's really, really important you use this at early levels because you gain levels really quickly by doing it. This guy's tough. Raise a boob. Okay, there we go. He's down. I think I gotta go and board a ship though, so. Whew, that was tough. Oh man. Here I'm talking, I'm like, oh my god, there's so much around me. Or the Axion. Okay. Cardassian's flagship, the Axion, has been disabled, sir. Her warp core is stable for now. Recommend we get a closer look. You know, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go check her out. Get my standard crew there, which now I upgraded from last, from the uh, promotion video. I think episode 12 or 11. I think it was 11. I got some cool stuff now. 
Okay, Captain Curtis and security teams are already starting to move in our position. We should expect heavy resistance, of course. I hope so. If it was my ship, I'll be, man, I'll just blow him out the airlock, but that's just me. Okay, let's see here. So they're called Gil and Gins. That's interesting. Okay, here we go. Let's see. What's around where we're gonna go? We're gonna go this way. Yes, I'm playing the uh, gunslinger now, so just let you know. Let's see if there's anything around here in the back part of the room. Usually, sometimes there is. Yeah, like this guy. There we go. They're all dead. So, ooh, got a box and stuff. Let's see what this is. Um, I think I got back up here. And disable security force field. That's what I got to do. Which I think disables this right here. There we go. Uh, that should take care of all security measures between us and the bridge. I don't expect the Cardassians to give up easily, though. Uh, they will probably be send more security teams to intercept us. Yes, thank you very much. And a lockbox. Now, to let you know about lockboxes, they're pretty cool, but you do have to spend... Um, money for a key. You can do it two ways. You can buy it through the exchange. I think they're like uh, two to three million per key to open up a lockbox, or you could spend real money, which is like a dollar per key. It's like a dollar twenty-five uh, per key. It gives you a hundred, and I think it's 125 zen. Let's go check this out. I think it does. Hold on. Uh, store and um, items, I believe. Is it? Yeah. Master key pack, which is uh, um, eleven dollars twenty-five cents, or a single key, which is dollar twenty-five. Just all depends, you know. To go ahead and go ahead and open these up, but they have some pretty cool stuff, though. Um, one of the things is um, go to the info. It has you have a chance to get a bunch of cool stuff like Quinum Starship Tier Six, Tier Five Starship Requisition. You can get a destroyer, pretty cool. Cross faction Starship Trait Packs. Um, you can get genetic resequencers, kind of like traits. Uh, temporal specialists like duty officers, another type of duty duty officers, duty is that duty. Coalition disruptor weapon crates. Um, you usually get these a lot of times. You also get these too, which are rep marks or bonus CP or fleet credits, um, experience pools and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's it's okay. Um, then you get um, a R and D pack. In addition, you get something called lobby crystals. And lobby crystals, what they do is you're able. I don't have any on me right now, but when I do, I'll go show you. But lobby crystals enable you to buy a lot of cool things in a lobby shop. It's a different type of shop. But the only way to get these items are through opening up these lock boxes. Once you open them up, here we get an example here. Info. I'm not gonna open one up, but uh, once you open them up, you get. Uh, um, uh, every lockbox contains a random amount of lobby crystals. Minimum four. So minimum four. Sometimes you get twelve. It just all depends. But you have to open up. Um, some some of the ships require eight hundred lobby crystals. So uh, you do the math on that. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of lockboxes. But uh, um, a lot of times you get like ten, fifteen, like a lot of that times too. But just all all depends. But uh, the best ones to open up are are the new ones, which are the uh, Year of Hell lockboxes. So just so you know about that. Um, they're cool. I mean, they got some cool stuff. But you gotta spend money. That's the only part of the game that you can't grind out. Balls to the wall. Here we go. Up. Oh, never mind. Not there. It's like old Bob did it. Oh, there we go. There we go. They're all dead. But yeah, so that's uh, that's old Bob. <laughs> I like this character; it's pretty fun. I love science officers; they're a lot of fun to play. Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell just happened? That was weird. I don't know what those things are. Well, I do, but I'm just trying to play out that I don't. So. <laughs> 
go up here and see what's up here. Did you see that? Yes, I did. That's weird. What were those things? Hmm. I'm going to go get some um, R&D materials up here, which is kind of weird. Some weird gases coming from the table. Z particles. That's interesting. Wish I had a more logical explanation about that. Wow, they changed that one. Well, that's interesting. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't change then then change it. So you learn something new all the time playing this game. There's always some aspect of the game that you don't um, even if you're a vet, I'm, you know, I'm a vet, I guess, but it's more of a um, I play casually cuz I don't have time to do a bunch of different things, but um, it's just uh, you find stuff new all the time. There's always something to do in this game. And, and if you're bored, trust me, there's something to do that will get your excitement back in. Um, you know, me having excitement actually doing these videos is pretty cool. Um, then also, you know, just role play it out with somebody or go inside the bar. And, you know, well, sometimes what I do with old Bob, then my level 60 characters go to the bar and just make complaints and just see if someone bites and then kind of role play that way. Just all, it's all depend. It's all your all on your imagination of how you play the game to go ahead and do something better for the game itself to better your experience with the game a lot of times gamers are like oh, I gotta get the best thing but once you get that what happens you know you're just done you know but um, if you role play it out or if you do different aspects of the game try something new different type of character that type of stuff then the game gets a lot more fun so let's go investigate the dead Cardassian which I just killed hmm interfacing hmm Captain, those were what were those things, sir? This Cardassian doesn't have any wounds on him, but my readings show that he was dead before we entered the room. I recommend that we find a medic kit, perform an examination of corpse. We need to know more about what happened to him. If he was attacked by those creatures, we need to be cautious. Any contact may be lethal. Yes, it can be. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's go find a medic kit. Uh, um, do I need to find one? Um, no, I don't want. I want to decline on that. Generally, when you're playing a character, people want to have you join the fleet to go ahead and uh, um, to contribute to their base and all that kind of stuff to try and get as many people as possible. I met really cool guys with TKO, Technical Knights Order. They're really cool, but um, uh, sometimes you find some fleets. I've been through five fleets, and I started two fell apart. And it, it's hard. It's like hurt. It's like hurting kittens, man. It's 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 almost impossible sometimes. But if you got some good people like we do in in uh, technical knights, technical knights order TKO, it works out pretty well. Really good people, and they know what they're doing. And uh, any aspect of the game, they're cool. Okay, let's see what's here. Here we go. Oh my God, it's blue. It's like my room. <laughs> it's it's like black lights. That where is again? Is something wrong with the environmentals on the ship? I don't know. Could be. Let's go up here and see what's up here. Hmm, investigate dead Cardassian. Sir, this Cardassian looks to have died from the same cause the Cardassian we examined in the mess hall. We need to find a medic kit to know more about it. Hmm, how convenient. There's a medic kit here. <laughs> what do you know? Okay, all the medical equipment in this kit has been sterilized and is ready for use. Medical tools. Medikit has a variety of standard medical tools available for, for use. However, before using Medikit to examine the remains of the Cardassian in the mess hall, it would be beneficial to study the medical records of the corpse in stasis in his in the sick bay. The background data of patients were prepared for examination of the remains in the mess hall. Hmm, okay. So what are we going to do? Uh, let's go investigate. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see if that does anything. Okay, I got a Medikit. Okay, let's see. Uh, probably these are medical... These are the uh, sick bay here. Let's go see what it is. Wow, a lot of dead people. Read patient records. Oh boy, here we go. Um, patient admitted with several lacerations suffered while working in engineering. This wound would, was closed using an auto suture. And patient, see, when, when they do these, uh, see, damn it, I hate this. Okay, I'm going to decline. I do not want to join your stupid club. Um, when they do these, um, it has it in green. And when you read these patient records, um, it has kind of like a. Um, Okay, how do you put it? A clue on to do the next part of the mission. So, auto sutures are used for closing wounds. Okay, just so you know. Patient return instructed to complain of headache, um, ev elevated body temperature, and nausea. While so okay, was elevated preliminary analysis, analysis showed signs of systemic infection resulting from contaminated wound of site. So, and then sick bay. I'm not gonna read these, but but generally that's how these work. I'll read the other ones, but these are just kind of like generalizations. So. Same thing. Uh, continue. 
Um, an autopsy was conducted using a narrow light probe to obtain a sample of brain tissue. Examination of neural tissue did not show on any signs of infection. So, like you know, a narrow light probe um, does for brain tissue. Continue. And I think there's two more, or one more actually. Read patient records. Uh, admitted. Uh, CMO orders. Uh, I've just patient when conducting using and laser scalpel to open the chest cavity. So we're gonna open up chest chest. Now you go back to the medical bay, or the or the dead Cardassian, and use this dead Cardassian. Now I did all that kind of stuff. Now it's gonna have me hopefully do different ones. Nope, guess not. Okay, use medical kit. Let's see if that does anything. Okay, here we go. All the medical equipment in this kit is sterilized, ready for use. Let's use a laser scalpel to open. Laser scalpel is uh, is finely tuned emitter, so it can be tuned for different wavelengths. Let's use laser scalpel. Captain, I think this that tool will help us determine the cause of death. Uh, cutting into a body without any way to examine it and exposed organs will not provide us. So, let's go to let's go take a piece of brain tissue and see what's going on. Narrow light probe. Um, narrow light probe is a device that um, stabilizes biological enzymes to cleave tissue samples. Use narrow light probe. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's. Uh, oh, jeez. Looks like I'm pretty stupid at this. So hold on a second. Um, okay, use. Okay, sir. A great deal of interference being picked up by the tricorder, most likely the result of an energy residue from whatever was used to do in this Kardashian. Perhaps we can track down by following the energy trail. There is a science lab across the hall from Meta Bay. Let's go and use that and go see what's going on. Oh, that's why. Okay. Uh, yeah. For this mission, you just got to use a little bit and then go from there. So I think I got to kill some Cardassians here. No, nope, I don't. Good. I'll connect energy scan. Please define parameters for search query. Um, electromagnetic pulse. Has uh, used several known species. Nope. Scan for electroplasma. We got high levels of electroplasma throughout the ship, but it's not surprising considering, considering that Cardassians use poorly shielded EPS relays. Okay. Let's do the, let's do the other one. Nuclear fission, uh, common source. Let's scan for that. No science nuclear fission. And go down to the next one. Omega energy. It's classified. What the hell? Okay. Oh, that's for different like missions. Uh, that's for like later on. Polytronic ions. Polaric ions. Ion. Yeah. Ions. Sorry. Let's go scan for that. None. And uh, let's go to energy scan. Let's go try like waves. Scan for it. I'm picking up large concentrations of trilic waves. Send around the ship's bridge, Captain. Trilic waves are harmful to humanoids. We will not be able to be in the area for long. And the Cardassians would have subject to the effects as well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just tired too. They would not only use trilic energy. I'm suggesting we take a closer look. Of course, let's go take a look. And uh, scan for trilic gas. I don't think I can do anything there. There we go. Okay, good. I got some stuff. Yeah, cool. Okay, uh, let's go and uh, check it out. Go to the bridge. We're almost there anyways. Oh boy, that's scary. What the hell? It's headed for the bridge. That's pretty scary. <laughs> Jeez. You know, um, I think one of the best missions out of all these is... Uh, um, let's see. Let's try to find him here. Spin the wheel. What lies beneath? What lies beneath is freaking scary. I mean, out of all the games I've ever played in my lifetime... What lies beneath freaked the crap out of me. And everything old is new is pretty cool. Night of the Comet's pretty cool. Ultimate Cleon's cool. Doomsday Device is awesome. I love that one. Edge and Error is pretty cool. Past Imperfect's okay. Temporal Bastard's okay. But, I mean, the next, like, five are freaking cool. So, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with these. And that scared me. <laughs> Turbo Lift to Bridge. Let's see. Uh, see, man, that's just creepy. Dude, I don't like that. Creepy. It's all over the place. What's going on? And looks like I got to kill things. A year hell uh, box. Put that in a bridge. And what's over here? See, it's all blue, man. That's not cool. It's like Smurf City. So we'll use some of our special abilities here.
and I'm held. That sucks. Oh no. These guys bypass shields to let you know, so you're gonna need a lot of healing. There's a lot of damage, my guys. Okay, I got this. I got it. There we go. Everything's back to normal. Yes. Okay, and I got a I got a uh, uh, uncommon item too. There's no mistake in them now, Captain. These were Davidians. We're curious, though, is the Davidians are out of phase with us, nor we can't see them without subspace force field turned with extremely sensitive phase discriminator. We didn't have that, so how are they appearing in our reality? I recommend checking the Axion crew log to entries. Maybe they were doing something that made it easier for the Davidians to exist here. Probably so. A uh, bunch of um, Cardassians. They don't know what they're doing. You know, leave it to the Federation. We're science officers. Come on. Here we go. Let's go check this out here. Access ship files. Hmm. Read captain's log. Our missions go well. The action has disabled our destroyed seven enemy ships. I look forward to reporting our success. The chief medical officer is concerned about the casualties. It is his job to be concerned. Mine is to operate the ship at peak efficiency. Am I talking about a Cardassian or not? I don't know. I have read this report about unexplained deaths and dismissed it. There are always an explanation. He simply hasn't looked hard enough for it. I cannot let his feelings disrupt our mission. Gaul Madrid is looking for for men a purpose to assist him. He wants, you know, he has too short of uh, sentences here. He wants leaders with the will to use whenever means are necessary to free our people from the Federation tyranny. Oh, come on. We're not that bad. If we all, if all goes well after the campaign, I'll be seen as one of those leaders. Let's go the second one. Engineer's log. Repairs to the Axion has goes go as expected, running low on deuterium and warp coils. We wish there was more time between battles to do more than patch critical systems, but time is the most precious commodity there is. Four crewmen down, one died in battle with the Klingon forces, uh, but three others died in accidents. I have spoken to the captain about launching an investigation, but he sees nothing but his dreams of glory and return to conquest. Unusual spike in trolloc wave energy may be affected. Warp core efficiency must be to trolloc and see if essential readings have turned up anything unusual. And letter from Mak Maja arrived today. She and the children are well, but she worries about me. Now, that's a dead engineer we saw probably. She wants me. Oh, too bad. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't help that. She wants me to leave the true way and return to Cardassian Prime. Six months ago, I would have ignored her pleas. Now, though, I miss her, and and I see no end to this fighting. Perhaps she is right. Science officer's log. Start date eight six seven nine zero. Point zero eight. My duties on a combat mission are limited, but I was pleased today to have a chance to scan the approaching Differens Comet. The comet itself has not been a um, focus of much scientific inquiry at the last pass through the sector in late 23rd century. Uh, wow, century. My scans, however, reveal surprising amounts of trilic wave energy emitting from the comet. So it might be the comet. Well, that's interesting. As well as detectable amount of uh, chroniton particles. The trilic waves will unfortunately prevent a closer study of the comet. They are quite harmful to humanoid life forms, and the captain is low to jeopardize our mission for my curiosity. I have requested uh, the launch of a Class 1 probe. The chronotons um, are even a greater interest. They appear in instances of temporal disturbances, which could mean that this comet has been or may be the presence of a temporal event. Time mechanics are so cumbersome. Yes, they are. They're pretty interesting, though, but unfortunately, there, no one can have them except for in the 24th century. Um, I must have more data, but the captain has never had much interest in science. Of course, he's a leader. Perhaps I will remind him of the chroniton particles are harmful against the aliens who live in the Bajoran wormhole. That's pretty nasty. A potential weapon to use against the Bajorans. Gods may have enough interest to him to revert our course. Continue. And let's see. Okay, return the ship. Captain, we should return the Roebuck. I'm sure Starfleet Command will want to know that there are Davidians in, in the neutral zone. These battlegrounds are now their feeding grounds. Return the ship. And I will beam out. I think I got everything. Let's see. Yeah, I got everything here. So let's go to Ops and beam out. Return the ship. Yes, get me out of here. As much as I love uh, Cardassian technology, I want to get the hell out of on my own science ship. Wow, that was an interesting um, little thing. Spin the wheel is next. I think it's going to come up here. I should be 12th level, I think. 
Are you sure you found no signs of Cardassians attempting to open a portal or otherwise bring the Davidians into our phase of variance? You know, it was from the comet, so I know they didn't. This is troublesome. There are pieces of the puzzle I don't have yet. Let me do some digging and I'll be in touch. So let's see what I want. Now, here's one of the things that, um, to let you know for the future, when you see something that's like this, it's only a four. Um, if you get up in level, say level 50 or 60, that's when you redo this mission and get this phase phase generator shield for, uh, for level 12, very rare. So when when these are like this at this uh, such a low level, only for specialized items like this, uh, the phase shields, or just any type of things that's not normal, um, wait till you get to level 50, or uh, um, yeah, actually wait till you get to level 50 and you'll be able to get this at level 12 instead of level 4. Just go redo the mission again, it's pretty fast, it's pretty easy to do. So I will pick a subspace field modulator, which gives me plus 34 all damage resistance for 15 seconds, minus 400 proton, uh, yeah, proton resistance. I think the only thing that uses proton is the Voth, but I'm not too sure. And the plus 15% defense, so I'm going to go pick that one instead. Let's go pick that and go collect reward. Thank you. Yes, level 12. I unlocked a new trait. Clear to view your trait. I'm gonna go do that in a, sec in a second. Now there's two different things you can do. This is a standard mission you can do, or spin the wheel. Spin the wheel is part of the uh, normal, um, normal, the normal like episodes. I'll do spin the wheel. Uh, I need your assistance with rather delicate situation. We have intelligence operative undercover at Dr Drozena Station. Her astute observations have given us an edge in a several critical engagements in the neutral zone. 22 hours ago, this operative activated an emergency subspace beacon. Samura would only contact me in this manner if she was a, if she was able to be discovered by the enemy or her life was in danger. I am under, understandably concerned. Yes, you are. I need to go to the, I need you to go to the Drozena station, find Zamira and her sister. Take her to safety if you have to, but don't blow her cover. If you go there, weapons blazing, you may get her killed. Now, if I blow up the station, nothing's going to happen. I'll just beam around. I've accused. I've accessed you, accused your logs. I've accessed your logs. It's been quite some time since you had some sort of leave. I suggest you visit the station downtime. Go to the station, and what do I get? Hmm. Hmm. Might want to get this, because this is um, anti protons used against Davidians. Um, these, eh, I'm okay with it. Uh, Moral Mark 4 is pretty good. I can get some bonus shield power. So I will go to accept the mission, and let's go see what I get now. So let's go to skill points. Activate my skill points on my character here. System shields. Okay, click that. And I uh, can't add to anything else. So let's go to uh, traits. I got a new trait. Or did I? Huh, said I did, but okay. Let's see. Uh, my traits are okay. Everything's okay. I'm going to go through uh, duty officers real quick towards the end. And I think uh, that's. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Station, let's see if I can get, a, get an officer here. I need an officer, man. Come on. Let's go commission him. No room. Okay, that sucks. That kind of blows. Okay, so, duty officers. Here we go. Click this little button here called duty officers. What they do is, um, is, hmm, how to explain it? Um, how to explain this? Duty officers are kind of like missions for your officers, which is your roster, like your crew, basically, for your crew, to explore something, to uh, go on a trade route, to secure a trade route, to uh, any personal things like uh, treat minor like injuries, confiscate you know, contraband. Your your tactical teams go through your ship, or your, your security go through your ship to con uh, to catch contraband. Contraband is really cool because if you get five of them, you turn them into the officer, you get uh, 2,000 dilithium, which is kind of nice. So, so you generally want to, you know, always do this one this this is just just free dialogue theme to go and have so these missions give you certain types of things like I see this one gives uh, um, expertise and gives a uh, 280 and then this way gives a 33 expertise 280 skill points which are used for this or for your skills itself which is kind of nice it's a quick way to get your your captains up in levels get your um, you get points get dilithium you get uh, all that kind of stuff so then also gives you uh, diplomacy XP once you these are, are your ranks once you get up to level one then you get uh, you get an extra type of crew member and then the crew members go from rare very uh, no actually common uncommon rare very rare very rares have a better chance if you find assignment uh, rare rares have a better chance. Let's go ahead and go here to uh, to get a critical success. So if you have a bunch of rare rares, it, it gives you a, a bonus to your successes. Um, any any crew members, you can do two things. Any crew members that have this green adds to your success chance. 
So you want to definitely have your crews. Normally people just do it automatically because it's a big pain in the butt if you do it every single day. So I would just recommend just going just uh, just doing it automatic. Just kind of click them and I'll show you like what I mean. So I get five to lithium from doing this, 151 diplomacy. Uh, 33 expertise and 280 skill points. So, and that and their expertise is used for your uh, for your officers, and the skill points are used for you, obviously. Um, and uh, so, and you know, skill points like this here, and that little bar. So, let's go to go to accept. And anytime it has like a like a, a thing like this tackle, and, and it's green, it gives you plus five. Uh, rare is plus ten, then plus fifteen for the rare rares. Kind of adds to the adds to the adds to the success. So begin assignment. Boom, got one done. So now this one gives you um, 40, 41 ex, exploration XP for ex, for that, and then it gives you a, a special item, five special items. So analyze unknown. Alloy, which usually gives you some type of R&D like material. So, but it takes 30 minutes. So, if you want, if say you're going to bed, just blow through them. If you're not going to play until the next day, like say like after work or something, like I normally do, I, I go to work at 2 a.m. I do these really quick as far as like get my duty officers done, and then by the time I'm, I'm back from work, I have all my duty officers already done, so I can redo them again. So I'm going to go and do this, and it takes a um, 74% chance. These are both common, so they don't get any bonuses, but they have a 5% chance to have a critical. Criticals give you, I believe, 50% um, more or double. I, I'm not sure. If you, leave, if you know, leave it in the comments down below. So we get an assignment, same thing. Trade routes takes 40 hours, so that takes a little bit longer. But the longer it is, the more the more XP you get. So I'm going to go ahead and begin assignment on that, and 20 hours for that one. Now, remember, you only have a certain amount of people, too. Also, too, when you get duty officers, you can put them in space. Obviously, I don't have them right now because I'm always dumb and used them. But they're able to uh, do special abilities for your uh, for your stuff. So, let's see. Um, engineering. Every time I, I use the engineering team and a buff, I get a um, uh, two second recharge. So, so um, uh, minus two second recharge. Is that right? By two seconds. Yeah. So let's say I use Hall Hill, which I think I have actually, which is this no, that's Shield Hill. I have uh, Hall Hill here. So every time you use that, it'll uh, normally it costs like 15 or 30 seconds. It'll reduce it down by two seconds, which in this game it's worth it. So right now all I have is just these guys. So I'm gonna put him on my put uh, active duty list. That means he can't be used for the duty missions. But every time I use a Hall Hill, I have a I have a uh, recharge time reduced for engineering team by two by two seconds. When it goes up to um, to uncommon rare and very rare it increases i think by 10 seconds or eight seconds for the uh, uh for the very rare then also to self gives you plus five hall hill like repair for 15 seconds reduces engineering team by two uh, by two seconds so that's what you want to do definitely go through these um yeah i have i have the uh sensor scan so every time i use this i debuff them debuff targets offensive offensive damage say he has something to go give him bonus damage i will debuff that and degrade his damage capability by 49.2 for four seconds so i'm definitely gonna put him on my duty roster let's go back here put him back to duty so on my ship i always have these guys here and that's pretty good so tactical um subsystem targeting attacks these are subsystem targeting attacks so every time i use him or I have 50% chance to reduce it down by five seconds. I think the charge time is 20 seconds or 30, I'm not sure, but I have to look that up again. So I'm gonna definitely put him in my active duty list. It, if you're gonna, if you're min-maxing, like I do a lot of times, make sure you don't have anything going on as far as your roster, as far as your assignments, because then you have everybody to use and everybody to go pick from. from. So let's go to um, this one here. I, oh, okay, I use photons. So since you use photons, I have a 20% chance to improve recharge time by two by two seconds. So I'll definitely put him on my crew list. And let's see, uh, deflector uh, abilities. 10% chance to set recharge time by 80% of normal recharges. That that means anything I use, tachyon beams, energy siphon, tachyon's rift, grad will, and brain energy um, dissipator. I don't use those right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. But I'll keep this space open in case I get some other like duty officers. Same thing as ground. Uh, let's see, equipment diagnostic, comet supply. Really nothing that I can use except for these guys. Chance to beam down additional medical support. So every time I use a hypo, I have a chance to 10% chance to provide a medic that follows me around and heals me. So I'm definitely going to put this person on my ground team. So put on active duty. Um, every time I use vascular like generator, I get 50% chance to gain 1,345 for 30 seconds. I will definitely put him on that. Put active duty. I'm going to use these three, save them for later on once I get some more better crew. So that's how you use duty officers. 
and you just basically uh, um, the R&D I have an open slot so here's another thing about like R&D so now I could use R&D items our R&D stuff I'll go through a whole another thing about R&D like later on so I can't use anything like right now because I don't think I have enough level or or people so I'm not gonna worry about that I'll go through that like later on though um, you could do these but it costs different um, yeah I'll go through those later I'll do another video about that but um, yeah, so that's duty officers. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll be able to get to you. And once you get um, up to the first rank, you get another officer for your duty officers. And once you get to rank four, you get a very rare, very rare like officer. So and this tells you all the information you need. You view your roster, who's in your rosters. You could uh, um, see what's going on viewing the space rosters. It's just like a quick shortcut type thing. So um, this shows you what's in progress which is all these. I have these missions in progress right now. So by the time it's over, I'm going to get uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20 dollar theme, which is kind of nice. So, Okay, so I really appreciate you watching. Let's go see if uh, what I have now. Do a phase three. Let's go see what I'm going to do with that one. I'm going to replace uh, something here. Oh, that's, I have four, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go and sell these. Discharge and discharge. And uh, this goes on my ship. So I have, um, I'm going to take off the weapon battery because I don't really use that, but put this on here. Come on, get out of there. Put this on. Now, this is a bonus to my damage resistance, so I'm definitely going to have this. So let's go and go ahead and go ahead and apply it to my character here. So i got to find it here, unlock the tray. And where is that guy? Where is he? Here it is. Subspace field modulator. So I'm going to put him so for a defense. Normally I put it back here, actually. I'm going to put it back here. So that's on defense. So every time I want to use it, I get plus 30, uh, 30, what, 7? 34. 34 all damage resistance for 15 seconds and plus 15% defense. It helps, trust me. Okay, well, I appreciate you watching. I know you watch other YouTubers and I appreciate you watching mine. You are what makes this game great. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next episode. If you have any questions, comments below, or leave the comments below. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired, right? I just did like six videos, so my voice is kind of strained. Anyways, thank you very much, and I'll check you guys later. Oh, Bob out.